Today we are going to solve a simple COBOL application AVEND with the help of HCLZ AVEND Investigator. First we start by submitting a batch job which runs our COBOL program. What a surprise, our application AVENDed. We are in a hypothetical production system, so we need to diagnose and fix the problem as soon as possible. Let's take a look at the job output. As we saw the program abnormally ended, and it looks like Z AVEND Investigator was invoked to help us solve the problem. ZAI tells us there was a SOC 7 AVEND or data exception. Before we take a look at ZAI, let's see if the job output contains any hints to solve the problem. The language environment message includes the program offset where the error occurred, but not the line of code or which variables might be involved. Let's try the ZOS CEE dump. The CEE dump shows a traceback which tells us there were two programs involved at the time of the AVEND. Let us see if any variable information is provided by the dump. Since our application was running on a production system, it was compiled without the COBOL debug friendly test option. Without AVEND investigation tools, we'd have to find the program compiler listings, then match the AVENDing offset to a program source line to determine where the AVEND occurred. Instead of all that hard work, let's use the AVEND investigator to more quickly understand the problem. At the time an AVEND occurs a real-time report is generated, this allows for immediate problem analysis following an application AVEND. ZAI generates a report which starts with a synopsis of the problem. This very quickly tells us which line of code was executing at the time of the AVEND. Variables from the AVENDing line are displayed, including the complete declaration of each variable and the values of each variable. In this example we can immediately see that variable customer account balance contains invalid numeric data. The event summary section includes a traceback similar to CEE dump, but additionally can include executing line numbers for each user program. Let's go to event 3, and investigate the AVEND. ZAI tells us that the variable customer account balance was a linkage section data item, so it might be worth checking on the program which called program 2. In event 1 we can see the call to program 2, and that the data passed was customer record. The record was read from a customer file, this indicates that the file might contain invalid data. ZAI also shows the last read records of files, in this case, the customer file records are shown as they were at the time of the AVEND. Let's try performing an interactive reanalysis of the AVEND to determine if the customer file still contains invalid data. Using the SFA command, we can launch an interactive reanalysis session of ZAI. The interactive reanalysis report has a similar look and feel to the batch report, but includes point and shoot hotspots. These allow for fast navigation. For example, selecting a yellow source line number hotspot and pressing enter will display the source file. The Avending source line is highlighted. We can also navigate to sections of the report using hotspots. Let's go to the event summary. Selecting an event number takes us to the detailed information for an event. For COBOL AVENDs, we can use COBOL Explorer to better understand the program and assignment of variables throughout execution. We specify which variables are of interest, and press enter to begin exploring. COBOL Explorer collapses our program to show us only the variables of interest, including the references and declarations. We can expand or collapse parts of our program by selecting the plus or minus hotspots. If we expand customer record we can see which part of the customer file records contain customer account balance. Expanding the environment division, we can see that the customer file is assigned to DD name cust file. If we navigate back and down to the open files section, we can see which data set is defined for DD name cust file. Let us take a look at the current contents of the file, with ZData tools, by selecting the data set name hotspot. We want to edit the file, and use the associated template so we can more easily see which parts of the data correspond to the copybook fields in our program. ZDT shows us that there is invalid decimal data in the customer account balance field for a number of customers, let's correct the invalid data by setting the customer balances back to zero. Now we can save the data and try rerunning our application again. This time we successfully processed our customer data. Let's check the job output to be sure, indeed, the go step of the job got a return code 0. 
With ZAI, in less than five minutes we were able to investigate the cause of an avend and know exactly what corrective actions to take to implement a solution.